Tellum Tribe Tarot. Daily readings for my tribe. Subscribe to my channel. Peace, Gemini. I am Cherokee with Tellum Tribe Tarot, and I am coming to you with another love reading. How you doing? Good, I hope. Take what resonates and leave but how it doesn't. Booking your personal readings is quite simple. You can go to my website, tellemtribetarot.com, and you can book a reading through the website. Be sure to check out my daily readings every morning. Every single morning, the daily readings are updated. It's a general reading, and it may resonate with you, Gemini, or anyone for that matter. So don't miss out on that opportunity. Follow me on all social networks. I am on X. What? I am on X. <laughs> Twitter X. <laughs> I am on Instagram. I am on Threads. Of course, YouTube and Facebook. Follow all things Tell Them Tribe Tarot. You got to be careful what you say on this thing. Anyways, this does not smell good. I do not like the way how that smells, but we will persevere. So Gemini, let's talk about what you should know right now about the person that you are thinking about. This is the overall energy. So the overall energy is the four of wands. So you may have recently purchased a house or signed on the dotted line for your marriage certificate something that solidified the union between you and your person. Um, it could be that you recently went to a wedding or things are just coasting really well between you and your person and the person and or the person that you're thinking about that you're considering your person. So you may want some advice on how to keep things flowing and how to keep things going. If you notice the butterflies are here, which signifies freedom and that airy personality that you have and i feel like what makes you stand out in this person's life is that you're not afraid to show up as yourself i think it took some time for you to get to this place gemini where you are not allowing negative things to interfere with you in a way that it obstructs the way how you see your life and the things that you um have in store for yourself you're not allowing negative things to hold you back and it's a it's an ongoing process you're gonna hear a bell ding in a minute and it's because my um air fryer is on dinner is on the way um yeah you could be doing all these homemaker things and just loving on your person in a way that you want to be loved and they're reciprocating that and for once you and this person are on the same page if this is not your energy, this is not your reading. If you're single and you don't know who the hell I'm talking about, then this reading is not for you. This is for the Gemini that is enjoying their connection right now. So what is it that your spirit guys wants you to know right now, Gemini, about this connection? Maybe something that you're not seeing or that you're overlooking. So the Seven of Wands. So what you may not be seeing or what you may be overlooking is that the universe is going double time for you to keep this re uh, this relationship at the forefront of your life. There goes that ding. See, you have to be prepared for when any kind of setbacks comes your way, of which I think that's what you're doing anyway. But it's saying that don't get so comfortable and complacent because things are going smoothly and, and allow things to just fall apart in the future. As in, don't get comfortable in a way where you're not putting in that same energy two months, three months, three years from now, just because you got comfortable with the person. The same thing that you've done to get with this person and to secure them is the same thing that you need to continue to persevere through to regulate and maintain the connection. You may find that there may be outward um, forces that may try to obstruct the, you know, what you have going on with negative advice or because you seem like the perfect couple. Can I get more insight on the seven of wands? 
the queen of swords people who may try to give you their advice unwarranted just because they feel like they may want to be a part of the situation a part of the happily ever after story sometimes you have that friend that always gives bad advice and you take your own advice and you ignore their advice and you just follow your intuition and your own mind and think things work out well and then they take credit for it anyway that queen of swords who talks too goddamn much just make sure that you know how to set proper boundaries between you and your person's connection and people that are very you know they may have walked in your shoes and they may see things that trigger them about your situation and may want to give you their extra two cents just be mindful of that that you don't allow that to affect your connection with your person what to look forward to in the near future gemini so the empress energy is a beautiful card to come out for the possible outcome of the near future because you could be preparing your household for a child that could be that new energy, that newness that's happening that where you're signing on, on the dotted line. You're discussing, you know, the your financial future and how you can align things so that you can have a, a child and bring a child into the relationship and there's no struggle. Um, definitely stay in tune with yourself and remember who you are before children come into the picture. Becoming a disciplinarian and a mom or a father, a parent in general, it changes you. And a lot of times people feel that after children, they forget who they are. They become a mother, they become a father, they become a parent, and all that their identity is, is a parent. So nurturing the things about yourself that you love the most and staying true to those things, even as life is changing, as you are a husband, as you are a wife, a significant other of a life partner, still holding, staying true to your identity is important and is what's going to keep you grounded when people are putting their two cents in two cents into a situation that does not concern them or when you bring a child or children into a relationship just to remember to stay grounded it's going to be very very important for you to do that okay you may be seeing synchronicities of 111 right now and one is new beginnings gemini also that you're also on the right path your guides are letting you know straight up that you are on the right path. What you're doing right now is aligning you for your life's purpose and you should not question what's happening right now. Some of you may be feeling as if it's too good to be true because maybe you, you're used to things going incorrectly or you may not have had a good run of relationships in the past. So this one feeling right feels wrong because it's too right. That is not the case. Your guides are saying, do not allow your thoughts to plague your relationship. Do not allow outside influences to plague your relationship. Constantly work on your relationship. It may not always be perfect, but it is perfect for you. You are perfectly imperfect and that is completely fine. You found someone, Gemini, that sees you for you for once. You know, someone who is not um, using you as some kind of um get back or trophy or anything negative you have someone who met you on common grounds at this time so you have to nurture this connection as the empress card suggests and nurture yourself through this connection be kind to yourself through the changes that you evolve through in this connection and you won't lose touch with yourself again you know i always love to suggest that you journal gemini you know, keep track of how you're evolving because you are going to change. You are going to change, Gemini. So I'm going to pull some closing messages for Gemini. Closing messages for Gemini in this beautiful reading. Three of Cups. Don't forget to have fun, Gemini. Again, identity. Spirit is pointing you in the direction of remembering who you are. Don't leave your friends out to dry, high and dry, just because you're in a connection now. Some of your friends that are close to you and dear to you, I mean your aces, the ones that really held you down before you were in this connection, don't put them in the position to feel as though 
you're switching up. Yes, you do have to pay attention to your person and nurture yourself through your connection and be this, this that, and the third. But remember that you need to balance your relationships and don't put so much time into one connection that you withdraw from and abandon the rest. Okay, Gemini. So I hope this message resonates with someone. If you'd like to book a personal reading, the link is in the description box. Drop a comment to say hello to a goddess because you know I love it when you say hello. Share the video to share the wealth. Turn on post notifications. Join the channel membership. And until next time, love and light, tribe. Forget the love of bad before you lose another one. I need Try. affection like a lazy sugar baby. Me confections, new beginnings with the feelings. All the dopest, my confessions are too fluid, but I knew it. He too stupid.